We're going to go through a sentence structure now. The first part of a sentence, we use the word for. If you look at my website, it's 400 pages long. Every sentence starts with the word for as the preposition. We use the as a neutral article. You have, when it comes to articles, or what we call lodio, we'll put a square bracket because this means no contract. You have a and the, this, these. Those are the five that I use in, uh, in my program. Pretty simple. It seems how you have, you have 38 articles, we only use five. Second part is there's a consequence. Now, a consequence is a fact. In other words, I stand here and I look at this room, and I have knowledge. My knowledge allows me to understand people, tables, chairs, architectural structures. Uh, I specialize in 115 different fields, being an engineer, background, metallurgy, heat treat specialist, chemist, uh, biotech, medical fields. I understand medical fields. I can look at every part of this building. I'm a master mason, bricklayer, concrete, lay tile, carpeting, 6,000 yards. I hold uh, knowledge of 180 different fibers used in carpeting, chemistry to put those things together, which your clothes are made out of, cotton, wool, polyester, rayon, all the different combinations of that, uh, whether it be the coefficient of expansion, allows me the metals, gases, chemicals from all the, all the different parts of the periodic table and how they're used to create different elements. I was the cook for Chemtron electrodes, made super metals, stuff that never was ever heard of before. 1988, I wrote the math interface on all, on all metals. I was, was called the polymer technology, proving that all metal is plastic, that all glass is plastic, that all plastic is plastic. And so the, the consequences of, of having knowledge creates a cause. As we get older, we acquire more and more knowledge, which allows us to understand the consequences of the facts. The third thing we're going to do is we're going to think. Thinking, I'll put that in ing. Thinking is a verb. which is motion. Now, running is not a verb. Jumping is not a verb. Driving is not a verb. And thinking, you have to, you have to think before you can do all these things. Order of operations, folks. You always have to follow the order of operations to have a legal contract. Even writing the sentence. Writing the sentence is not... See the pen. See is a pronoun, the is an adverb, making pen a verb. That's a second grade reader. See the ball. See Jack run. See is an adverb, making now run to Jack to be an adjective of the word run, which is a pronoun, which means nothing. You see, these are first grade readers. They're a complete lie. Don't, don't get your kids tied up in that. You want to teach them how to read? Go to my website. That'll really fry them. <laughs> Four, when you think, okay, we look, this is, we'll, we'll put this to be sight, because, or see, you see stuff, and you need a C, you need a C pass, uh, rather C treaty, and you need a C S E A pass. See, pass means that you can move a vessel in a sea of space. So when you have knowledge, you have these positions. 
that you're going to see and absorb points of information. You hear points of information. You use your five senses to absorb information. And with that information, we then store it as a computer. So the consequences is a storage. Just like a computer. And we keep all this information in until we're asked the question. Then you go into motion, just like when you were entering a keyboard. You might put stuff in. It's going to store it. When you want it out, you hit enter, ask it a question, and hit enter, and it does a search. It goes thinking, and now gives you a claim. With is a, is a, is a possession... Possessive, which becomes your claim. Now, claims are, you only have two different things. You either have a plus or a minus. You're going to have a, an award, not award. You're going to have a, a value. See, the word a, a means no award, a, W-A-R-D. Award. Now, the word award is because the contract is written in adverb verb, means you get nothing. You might get a future tense, futuristic Federal Reserve note. Or you might get a promise, pay to, in future time, which is a pronoun adverb scenario. But you don't have any now time facts. So therefore, with the possessive, you possess a claim. The claim has to be defined. So we're going to go here five of the contract. Now, the contract has to be of the contract terms. Number six is with the correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Okay, what does that mean? Well, there's a thing, you hear the word right. You hear the word truth. Truth is an opinion, by the way. Everybody believes in God. That's your truth. But that truth is based on your opinion of subjective interpretation. So therefore, truth is an opinion. And O means no, and P-I-N means to attach, and I-O-N is contract. So you have no attached contract because your subjective interpretation of your ability to communicate with any other individual is based on that other person's ability to understand what you're saying in the first place, which is babble. <laughs> Because it's all adverb verb scenario. Now, I may be talking to you in adverb verb because that's the only language you understand. If I get into, if I stood up here and talked to you, and uh, for this knowledge of this individual is with the claim of the correct parse syntax grammar, uh, start using prepositional phrases, uh, this would not jar well with your perception. And you, you'd kind of get lost. So, it takes about 200 hours to adapt to this technology. And you will get a migraine headache because you're all brainwashed not to see an article. You might think that's a joke. It's not. Sublimic messaging through TV, radio, newspapers, and magazines, school books have been there your whole life, right in front of you. We hide it in plain view, just like we hide a flag in plain view, and we cancel this contract by putting a Coke can on top of the staff, which is a phoenix in this case. If the wingtips are down, it's a phoenix. If they're up, it's an eagle, which is postal. So you can either be under postal guys or you can be under the Vatican guys. Either way, you're under somebody's guise, G-U-I-S-E. It's not a disguise. It's a guise, G-U-I-S-E. This meaning no guys. This means no, by the way. Finally, number seven is by the author. Authority, authentic, authorization. Now, what's the symbol for gold on the periodic table? AU. He who holds the gold makes the rules, has the authority. 